Hello everybody, welcome back to Band Trading Cards and welcome to Band Talks where we discuss about trading card games and today we're going to talk about Meta Zoo and Walmart. <music> Why are they together? Okay, we're going to talk about that because there are people that have uh, different opinions about this um, partnership. It's not a partnership with um, like they own a certain company, a stakeholder on a company of Meizu to Walmart or Walmart to Meizu, but they are just um, will be partnering with the products. So Meizu will be bringing products to Walmart on their shelves and it's going to be available for the masses and that will be a lot of products guys so we are um we are going to discuss about that because there are people that has uh different that has different views on this kind of uh partnership i can say partnership because it's just you know business partners and People are, I can say, divided into three groups. So the first group is they are people that are that don't want, don't agree with what is happening with this Made in Zoo and Walmart. And then the second one is people are agreeing it. They said it is good. And the third one is meh. <laughs> They're just, you know, I don't care what they do with their product. I'm just here, you know, chill, playing. The product and uh, collecting my things um, whatever I want so those are three um, categories or I can say groups just to make it easier so I want to give my opinion also because you know this is something that will probably change how Medizu will grow in the future and um, I just want to give um, based on my style here I, I want to give the, uh, I want to talk about the, you know, the history or the beginning of the, all of this, okay? So, I want to talk about the Kickstarter of Meizu. So, when Meizu came in, the Kickstarter is 200 people, I guess, 200 plus, and they got $18,000 funded, okay? 18000 guys, that's a few. Then these people, group of uh, Kickstarter backers, of course, well, what uh, they wanted is to grow the channel, right? So you will invite more people coming into the game. Even they share their um, commons and uncommons cards so they can play for free. And that's what happened to other TCGs as well. And I, I, I've seen that. I even asked for free comments last time so anyway um this is how kickstarters um or maybe startups not not necessarily kickstarters when you start a company you wanted to to sell or to show people that you are existing okay then these people have their boxes kickstarter boxes and um, the first edition was released and people, more people coming in, collectors, players, investors coming in, they got their boxes. And still, they also wanted to expand, right? They wanted to, other people will know that, hey, we have Meizu, okay? This is how it works. This is how you play it. And this is how you collect it. This is, uh, these are the Mothman, the Horag, and all the cryptids, okay? So... In this community, small community, you wanted to make it bigger, you know? Now, uh, of course, the creator, Mike, wanted to make it bigger. And the way to make it bigger is to put it on whatever biggest, one of the biggest, you know, distributor of products like food, let's say shirts, and um, to the, uh, like, Playing cards, you know, playing uh, trading card games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! And um, also some toys. So the perfect um, for for the creator, Mike, the perfect partner will be Walmart. Okay, because he wanted to show people that they are existing. What is Meizu, right? And um, of course, if I 
I'm, if I'm a member of Mibuzu, I will be happy. In my opinion, I will be happy because, you know, you are putting your uh, product on the shelves of, of um, Walmart and many children, adults, even adults can see Mibuzu and they will say, okay, wait, this is Mibuzu. Okay, let me try this or this is what they are talking about in the Discord, Facebook. Then it's a good... It's a good way to, you know, to tell your, uh, to expand your game, right? And example, guys, if you have a product and you sell it in the, you know, in the forest, no one will buy it, you know, no one will buy it. You have to put your brand out there on the eyes of the buyers, the decision makers, the decision makers, because, you know, the decision makers have the money <laughs> right even in the family you have to put something out there with the uh, decision makers and sometimes they are decision makers are influenced by the uh the kids which is the mom uh, the kids will influence the mom and dad right so when they see this product on walmart i'm surely someone will buy it right and it will be on the eyes of different uh patrons of walmart right customers so on on the three categories or groups of people that are one is saying negative about maybe zoo maybe they're thinking that if it goes to the masses my kickstarter boxes or my first editions will go down in price because there's a lot of people and it looks like it's cheap you know and maybe the the the, the cards will go down and then that's their worry, uh, their, what they worry about. Then the, uh, the, the, the ones that agrees, we don't talk about that because it, they agree, right? And the one that are, you know, don't care, they also are, they don't care whatever Made Zoo will do on their products and how they market their products, right? So we're gonna talk about the negativity of the, you know, Walmart and Made Zoo thing. So if, if um, they go to this kind of business model, look at, Mavis, uh, look at Magic the Gathering, look at Pokemon, look at Yu-Gi-Oh! They are on the shelves of Walmart. And even I can see in the Larama guys, Magic the Gathering. Okay? Yu-Gi-Oh! is everywhere as well. They are in Walmart. I can see Yu-Gi-Oh! here. But Pokemon, they are not, they can't see the light of Walmart, guys. <laughs> Pokemon. Because whenever they sell it on, the sh uh, they put it on the shelves, it's gone. <laughs> like, like if you're a box of Pokemon, if you are a box of Pokemon, you will never see the light of the store. You know, <laughs> you'll be gone. You'll be um, bought uh, before that, okay? Before you go to the shelves. So, and... Um, do you think that Pokemon First Editions, Pokemon, uh, uh, what they call it, base, base, um, base set, do you think that it went down in price? It's the opposite, guys, because people are going to the mass-produced product, and then they will see the value, they will play, oh my goodness, this is a good game. Then, what will they do? What is the first edition of this? I'm going to have one, okay? Mom, I'm going to have one of this uh, first edition. And then the demand of getting the first edition, Kickstarters will be going up. That's why it's happening in Pokemon, right? Even in Magic the Gathering, the demand on the Alpha, Beta, Arabian Nights, man, they're going up, okay? So, for those who are worried about or negative about this partnership, think about it, okay? Think about it if your game can go worldwide. Think about it. And if you have those boxes of Kickstarter first editions, man, that will skyrocket, okay? So, that means Mike is doing, for me, Mike is doing a good job on doing this kinds of things. Like he partners with Dubs. He partners with the Bruce, right? It's the shirt. And 
people say, why are you selling shirts, um, shoes, something like that? It's because, guys, you have to put Meirizu on the streets so that people can see it. Oh, what's that? Meirizu. Okay. And then they will say, we'll see in their um, maybe co-workers. Hey, what's that? It's Meizu. 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 It's everywhere. And then what will happen? They're going to go to home and their son will say, Mom, uh, please buy some Meizu. It is. They said, oh, yeah, I know that product. I I've seen that before. So let, where, 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 where you can buy that? So the kid will go to Walmart and it's there and the kid will play. Then he will know that this game, this uh, card game is good. And the next one is collectability. The next one is investability. They are investing it, collecting it, and and the rest will be history. And of course, first editions, Kickstarters will skyrocket. So don't worry, guys. Made a Zoo is doing a good job. So Mike. Thanks for doing that. And we're going to see more Walmart products uh, or wo more made as products at Walmart. And Mike said that it's an exclusive Walmart product. So that means there's no f booster boxes there, right? <laughs> there's no booster boxes. They're just, you know, maybe um, a pack of made and then they wrap it with a beautiful, you know, uh, protector or something like that and or wrapping something and they will wrap a different products there for walmart and nothing to worry about for the kickstarters and first edition holders and or even booster boxes because mike said i've seen it on the, the discord channel he said that it's exclusive for walmart see so guys um i hope you like this video and that is my opinion for today. And uh, please like, subscribe. And if you have, if you want more um, stories, or my opinions, my band talks, yeah, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And let's talk about that. Bye.